Howdy and welcome to uh, Hot Glass Tips number two. I thought I would uh, do a video on some basics about torches. I've uh, been waiting for Aquaduster. I thought he was going to post a video on torches, but he must be delayed. So, in the meantime, I'll talk a little bit about them. Uh, for borosilicate work, torches uh, that are used usually are fuel gas and oxygen. And fuel gas uh, is either propane or natural gas. I've used both, and uh, currently I'm using natural gas, but I uh, think I really pr prefer the propane better. Uh, it seems to work better with uh, colors and what have you than uh, natural gas. There is two primary types of torches. There's premix and there's surface mix. And my uh, National 3A hand torch is an example of a premix where the gases are mixed back into the torch and uh, are already mixed when they come out the tip and are ignited. One of the really nice advantages to uh, premix torches is they usually have a variety of different tips that you can use with them. These are oxygen, what they call oxy tips. Here's some broader tips. That's only just a few. There's probably another 20 different tips that you can buy for uh, this hand torch. And there are people that use uh, a National 3A hand torch for uh, medium to large boral work. They just get a larger tip and open it up and let it go. One of the uh, disadvantages Is they're a little bit noisy. They do make a lot of noise. But other than that, they're a fine torch. Now the surface mix torches. This one is a Nortel Miner. It's a real popular little torch. And it is, you can see the end of it, it has a fixed number of ports. That's the way all surface mixes are. They have a, a set number of ports. And then, then this one uh, is the Nortel Midrange Plus, and it has the minor burner on top, which is the same as this one, but then a midrange burner down below it, and two different sets of valves to work either one of those. And you can probably see that that's a fixed number of ports here also, but a lot more of them. The uh, surface mix. Or much quieter. Or much quieter. That's all I this in there. Now the Nortel Miner will work uh, borosilicate up to about 10 millimeter real well. I think it's an excellent torch for uh, bead makers and what have you. If you're going to work with a uh, rod that's over 10 millimeters, then you probably want to move up to a mid range or, or larger, depending on how large you want to go. And then we have uh, triple mix torches, such as the uh, GTTs, and I really don't know much about those. Uh, they're kind of out of my price range anyway. And I know they're expensive to buy and they're expensive to operate, but uh, that's another brand of torch, another kind of torch, and uh, I think they're a little more complicated to use too. You have to, to go through some training or go mess the torch up. So anyway, let me talk a little bit to you now about uh, flame chemistry. I don't know if this is going to be really clear enough so you can see it all that well or not, but hopefully you can. Uh, there are three kinds of three flame types, if you will, where the flame chemistry varies. This uh, right now that I have adjusted into my miner is a neutral flame. A neutral flame is uh, has a molar equivalent of fuel gas and oxygen, meaning there's no excess oxygen and there's no excess gas. They're both being burned completely, and that's the hottest and cleanest flame you can get. Generally, that's what you'll want to use when you're working with clear. And also some of the colors, really. You'll notice uh, 
hopefully you can see it clearly enough that the candle, this little inner cone here, is clearly defined. And the, the flame itself is nice and blue. Now, when you work with different colors, some of the colors are temperature sensitive. You have to read about read the manufacturer's instructions about the specific color you're working with, uh, of how that glass reacts in a neutral versus a reducing flame versus an oxidizing flame. An oxidizing flame has excess oxygen. I'm just, I'm just going to crank the oxygen up on this, and that is an oxidizing flame. One of the characteristics of an oxidizing flame is the hissing that you, have, you hear. That hissing sound, plus the end of the uh, flame is more feathered than a neutral flame. Now I'm going to reduce the amount of oxygen back to neutral, and then I'm going to keep cutting the oxygen back until there's an excess of gas. Okay? When there's excess gas, that's called a reducing flame. Both the oxidizing flame and the reducing flame are cooler than the neutral flame. In this case, for a reducing flame, where do I put my pointer? The candle is fuzzy. I can even see the beginnings of a little yellow streak right down in here where the, the gas is coming out. And uh, if I reduce it too much, I can even get it to the point where I can smell the excess gas. Anyway, you may uh, want to play with your torch, uh, adjust it to different settings, and learn where your neutral point is and uh, where your oxidizing and reducing points are when you start messing with colored glass, because it does make a significant difference. Anyway, that is it for today, and I hope you find this helpful.